Here is our short run aggregate supply curve. Notice that it is positively sloped, telling you that there is a direct relationship between price level and real GDP. Why is that? Because in the short run, input prices are fixed, but output prices are flexible. And therefore, if the price is higher, that's going to encourage the firms to produce more. Think about this. Suppose you operate a bakery and the wage or the price of sugar, flour, they all remain the same. So the input prices are fixed. But good news, the price of the cakes and the bread that you sell has doubled. Now, of course, you have incentive to produce more because that's going to generate more revenue. And other firms are all doing the same thing. Their input price remains the same, but output price increases. So they're all trying to supply more. And as such, the higher the price level, the higher the real GDP. Notice that our short run aggregate supply curve is not a straight line. In particular, before we reach the potential GDP, our short run aggregate supply curve is relatively flat. After we reach our potential GDP, our short run aggregate supply curve is relatively steep. Why is that? Before our output reach our potential, that means in our economy, there is still cyclical unemployment. So if we want to produce more, we can just go ahead and hire more workers because there are workers who are still cyclically unemployed. After we reach our potential GDP, there is no more cyclical unemployment, meaning those who are trying to find a job already got a job. So if our economy still want to produce more, now we will have to ask our workers to work extra hours. So even though in the short run, our per unit wage remains the same, we want the workers to work more hours, we will have to pay them extra. And therefore, these firms will have to reflect this extra cost, this workers working extra hours, this extra cost on their price. So our economy will have to increase the price level a lot in order to produce just a little bit more. That's the reason why our short run aggregate supply curve is not a straight line.